is good Raider Nation is your boy Raider Alex back with yet another video for you guys anybody that's new to the channel you guys love Raider related content just like this make sure to like comment subscribe to the channel also make sure to hit that bell notification that way you get notified every time I post a video just like this one without further ado let's jump right into the topic of this video the Raiders defense has so far looked pretty solid and so far they have exceeded my expectations prior to the season I honestly thought this defense was going to struggle early on and eventually they're going to start picking it up towards the end of the season with especially with us having so much young talent on the defense but so far through six games they have looked like a major upgrade over last year's defense now you might be saying that's not saying a whole lot since last year's defense was so bad but you know I was expecting our offense to be a little bit better I was just hoping this defense could take a step forward they've definitely been doing that so far and part of the defensive success too has has been the play from the linebacker group the Raiders didn't really address the linebacker room in a big way in free agency either besides the acquisition of Robert Spillane to the two-year nine million dollar contract but so far this group has impressed me and today I did want to focus on our 2021 draft pick linebacker Divine Diablo Diablo is now going into his third year in the National Football League and it's gonna be a huge year for him to show up and show he can play the linebacker position at the next level so let's break down some of his tape and see how he has been performing this season now versus the Patriots last game here, he does a good job, recognizes the screen pass that ends up going nowhere. On this play, Max Crosby is the one that makes the tackle here, but even if he didn't, I like how Divine Diablo did a great job shooting the gap and was in great position to make a play on the running back if Crosby wasn't able to do so. Here he is able to recognize the misdirection jet sweep run by Zeke Elliott and Spillane shows he has the athleticism to track him down and bring him down for the tackle. If he would have gotten fooled there or reacted a little bit slower this could have gone for an even bigger gain. Now right here just great man to man coverage on the tight end and the defensive line was also able to create some pressure so this resulted in an incomplete pass. Here the defensive line does a great job with the pressure up front but I also like Diablo's decisiveness and the speed to rush Mac Jones and force him to throw this on the run which isn't really his strong suit and it leads to an interception for the Raiders defense. Just great overall play by this defense. Now on this running down he definitely gets bullied by left tackle Trent Brown for a nice running play for them overall. It was a nicely designed run play as well as they got the mismatch in size between Trent Brown and a linebacker like Diablo. Now right here he doesn't get burned or anything like that but he does give up a passing reception. He's just not quick enough to make a play on this but he was close. I'll give him that. Here this is great tight coverage by Diablo on the tight end. On this passing down he gives up a quick passing reception and zone coverage but linebacker Robert Spillane is able to make this tackle immediately. Right here great job to read and recognize the run is able to get in and slow down the running back even though it looks like he does get hit with like a little stiff arm but overall he does a good job stopping the run on this rep. Right here another great play and run support by the Raiders defense and most importantly we've got number 5 Divine Diablo who shows his sideline to sideline athleticism to close in on the run and then we got Amik Robertson who closes in on the edge for a loss of yards for the Raiders. Right here he's able to come up and make the tackle on the running back as well in run support. And then once again on tape you see his athleticism to come down and make a quick tackle on this wide receiver screen pass. Right here he's in zone coverage and Jordan Love is trying to throw it to number 87. He looks that way but he sees Divine Diablo reads that all the way and then he's just forced to throw the check down where Diablo is able to make the tackle immediately. Just good coverage overall here. And then once again we got Diablo able to come up into the box and stop the run. Now we're going back to week 4 against the Los Angeles Chargers and just another good play against the run from Diablo. And on this rep they get Diablo involved in a blitz. He does a great job against the running back who picks up the blitz and he's able to get really good pressure on Justin Herbert. He eventually forces him to get up and out of the pocket and then throws an incomplete pass. 
So overall, Raider Nation, I have been pleased with the performance of Divine Diablo thus far. I like his athleticism, showing he can be a legit sideline to sideline linebacker in this league. And his coverage seems to be improving compared to years past. Look, he's still not elite when it comes to pass coverage, but let's be honest, 90% of linebackers in the NFL just aren't. But he's done a pretty good job covering tight ends and running backs, which is what we really need from our linebacker. He's done a really good job against the run as well. He's getting pretty physical out there and I also got to give some credit to our linebacker Robert Spillane it seems like he's really took command of the linebacker group and he's taking a real command in that room you can see a lot of times he's pointing Diablo and other guys around on this defense showing them where to go and just kind of leading them in the right direction and this has led Diablo to look a lot more comfortable out there and just in general he's been playing a lot better and that's really big for Divine Diablo going into his third year in the National Football League and this is really huge for the Raiders organization as a whole because we need this team to get as many of our draft picks to contribute on this roster if we want to have success and if in year three he can't get it done divine diablo that is then it's not looking too good for his future in the silver and black so I like what I've been seeing from Divine Diablo, also from Robert Splane. Just in general, this linebacker group has looked better than I think a lot of us were expecting. Like I said, we didn't really address the linebacker position in a big way in free agency. We didn't make any splash plays. We didn't really address in the draft either until we drafted Amari Bernie late, who's a player that hasn't contributed thus far. But so far, the linebacker group has over exceeded my expectations. And just in general, I like how the defense has been playing. And not only Divine Diablo, a guy from the 2021 draft, but also, you know, our safety Trayvon Merrick, he's been stepping up big time this season. He did struggle a little bit in the first couple of weeks. He had some plays where he gave up a touchdown in the red zone. But overall, I think he's been playing a lot better. He leads the team in interceptions, so we got to give him that. So let's just hope this can continue for this defense for the rest of the season. I hope Divine Diablo can keep playing at this level. But Raider Nation, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of Divine Diablo's performance so far into the regular season and also anybody that's new to the channel make sure to like comment subscribe and with that being said i will see you guys in the next one